Dapo. What's up, G? What's up, brother? I'm doing good. How about How you? How you doing? Doing good? Yeah, I think you're having good just now. I don't know. I fell asleep. I just woke up now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my head is a little heavy. <clears throat> <laughs> Glad I didn't sleep past what I'm supposed to. Because I, I set my alarm. Uh-huh. I fell asleep like around 5 or 3. I didn't want to sleep, but then I fell sleepy, so I set an alarm for 5.25. Okay. And when the alarm woke me up, I was just dragging myself. But I was... Um, that was weird. <laughs> okay. How about yourself? How's your Thanksgiving going? Uh, I mean, it's, it's going good so far. Uh, my next door neighbor, this uh, Jamaican woman, brought over some food. Oh. And, uh, oh. I, I wasn't going to go over to my cousins, but I, now I am. And, I'm just, I'll go after, you know, after the table read. Uh, so, um, yeah, just chilling. Yeah, I need that type of neighbor of yours. Someone that will bring me food. <laughs> <laughs> now, she's married and stuff already, but she just brings over stuff, you know. It's good. So, and it's always good, too. Hey, she know how to throw down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Shita, how what's up? How you doing? Your microphone? Are you muted? Hello. Hi, how are you? There we go. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Happy Thanksgiving, Shita. Well, it's not happy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what happened? Well, I mean, Thanksgiving is a time, you know, you know why it happens. So. Mm -hmm. I don't really celebrate. I don't really celebrate it. <laughs> One year they tried to tell me to say the Thanksgiving. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it's it's lucky I didn't start talking about the genocide. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's cool. Actually, I thank you, Lord, the Father, for getting people in this country and now call other people immigrants and cause genocide and uh, stealing of land. Thank you, Father. Like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Lord. <laughs> it's all the... <laughs> Okay. Um, all the white people all downstairs. Yeah, I'm glad I could steal you guys away from your regular Thanksgiving and have you here with me so we can all celebrate together. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Honestly, I appreciate it. It's just. Yeah, I would rather be doing this than honestly doing dinner with family anyway. So. Oh yeah, me too. I like that. I like that. that's my man right there. <laughs> <laughs> Driving doing this too. <laughs> All right. Um, so the table read we're going to be we're going to be reading uh we'll be doing three reads. Um before that, uh I think there's a group chat where you guys are. Um you guys should link up after the table read and 
Yeah, Pakiro, make sure that you message me, please, because we need to memorize the script and yes. make sure that we, you know, chill it. Yeah. Of course. And if Pakiro does the message you, if Pakiro does the message you, she tell please reach out to him so that you get the stuff done. Um, because next week is the shoot. It's not like the shit is in the next four weeks. It's next week. Uh, mm. But with the way things are, I think we might need at least one more table read before, um, before the shoot. So we should have a table read next week, Thursday. So next week, Thursday, Paquito, you will be on the location, right? Uh, that's the third, right? That's the third, yes. Oh, I'm yeah. actually going to... I'll be there. So I'm awaiting a Zoom call. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Paquito. I know you go ahead first. Oh, yeah. No, I'll, I'll be at the location. So, Paquito will be at the location. Um, Shita, you're going to be somewhere else, but we should still have a, a read. No, so I'm, what I'm saying is, most likely, I will also come, but I'm not sure because I'm waiting for a very important Zoom call. If it doesn't happen, then I will just come on the third. I will, like, let you know, you know? Okay, so if you're there on the third and Paquito's there on the third, we could all rehearse the day before the shit starts next day. Um, but if you're not there, wherever you are, we still need to do like a final rehearsal before the fourth. I think that will work, right? Mm -hmm. You so, got it. So um, if anything, it will be the same time. Uh, we could do it like from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Or maybe because uh, I don't know, because I have to move around. I'll be bringing in the DP. I'll go to Brooklyn and bring him to the Bronx. I don't know how many trips, because he has a lot of equipment. But I told him to like make sure it's something that could fit in a car. So it's just going to be one trip, because I'm going with a very small car. Um, and then when we, when we get to the location, we'll, we'll be going around and buying multiple stuff. We have a whole list for the prop and the food and whatever that we'll be buying. As soon as we're done, um, you, I, I might not be there, but even if I'm not there, Paquito, you'll be at the location. And if you're at the location and there's a Wi Fi connection, you could just link up with her and just do the rehearsal, maybe from like 6 to 8 p.m. And if I'm there, then we could all do it together. All right, so we'll, we'll make it work. Okay. We'll make it work. So where is the location? You said the Bronx? It's in the Bronx, yes. I will send the address. The address is, I shared the folder with you guys. The address is in the folder, but um, as soon as we send out the call sheet, you guys also have the address. But if you have the, if you have access to, to the folder, you could check there. You want to check the folder now? There's okay. a, so let me share the folder with you guys. It's okay, you can send it later. I just need the address. I have a car, I'll drive. Okay. All right. Um, let me still share the folder with you because that's where everything is. Um, oh, you know what? I'll send it to you guys later. That's fine. Okay. Send to yeah, you guys later. Exactly. All right. So let's go into the reading. We'll be doing three reads. Um, we'll be doing three reads. And depending on how it goes, we might do like a final one, a final closing. So let's get right into it. I would read action, you will read the rest. One second, let me close out all distractions. What's that person? What about my dog? Where are you gonna get a picture of me and my dog? Are you gonna like? Yeah, where where is your dog? You said your brother has a dog. Yeah, that dog, the neighbor's dog, is so ugly. He hates me, man. If I go closer, he's like, rrr, rrr. it's a little ass dog. Ugh. Yeah, what? We gotta find a way to make that dog love you. Like I'm like standing next to him. I tried to take a picture like a few times. It was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I was like, okay. So I just like. Yeah. I don't know. The, I think dogs usually. Exactly. Is, is it a male dog or a female dog? A female. Oh, That's maybe why it's such a thing. <laughs> most, most male dogs usually like women. I don't know why. They like <laughs> women. 
um, well, it's opposite to itself. Yeah, it's a female dog. It's probably jealous. It's uh, it's like it doesn't want you near the guy. I understand. Well, um, mm-hmm. we we'll go, we gotta find a way. You gotta take a picture with a dog, and also, um, if you could sneak a portrait picture of the dog as well, that would be very awesome. So, um, a picture of you with a dog, just you, no one else in the picture, just you, and a picture of the dog by itself, doing what it does. Okay. That'll be very, that'll be very awesome. Okay. Okay. All right, so, I mean, try to get it. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Thank you so much for that. Um, awesome. All right, you guys are ready? Yes. No, well, give me one second. I need some water. <laughs> one second. Mm-hmm. What? I like you. Because <laughs> oh, I, I need some water, and I'm like, I don't know why I want to give some water. Like, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have water. Cause, cause the thing is, the action, the action reading is more than the acting itself. It's, uh, it's more action. So I don't want to be, you know, suffocating while I'm reading. The <laughs> okay, we ready? I'm yes. ready. Yes. Paquito, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. Take the bait. Written by Dapo Ibrahim. One interior Andre Studio apartment night. Black suddenly duct tape is peeled away, revealing the dim interior of a room. A pair of bare masculine legs walks out of frame. We hear a door open and close. A limp feminine hand drops into view. Cut to interior. Reach out to the apartment night. The room is dimly lit. The sound of keys unlocking the door. Reach out 26 and scrubs and enters coming a tomb. Her face is hidden by the groceries in her hand. She attempts to shut her door, but does not close it completely. And as she exits the frame to the kitchen to put down the grocery, we see the half closed door without bothering to flip the light on, walks across the room to a desk, powers up a laptop, turns on a lamp, sets down keys and phones and heads for the bathroom. Clothes on desk full of post, clothes on desk full of posties and trinkets. The most prominent a picture of a smiling little girl and her dog. As the laptop finishes finishes booting, putting up, desk notification starts to ping. The shower can be heard running. Cut to interior Andre's to your apartment night. Clothes on masculine hand being rinsed under the bathroom faucet. Andrew walks out of the bathroom in a pair of singlets and boxes to sit in front of three PC monitors. He quickly flips through profiles on different dating sites. Suddenly, he stops on one that grabs his attention. The main profile pic is a smiling young woman, airborne while jumping on a trampoline in cut-off shirts and a tank top. Her thick, dark blonde hair flying around her face. Andrew. Hmm. Maybe. It goes over her profile carefully. A graduation photo from nursing school, hiking with friends in, in the mountain, sitting in the lotus position of a rock in the park, and finally a picture of her and her dog. Andre. B I N G O and Bingo was her name. Oh. Cut to interior, Rachel to the apartment, night. The bathroom door opens and we see Rachel, late 20s, wearing a SpongeBob bathrobe with, with her and her dark, and dark circles under her eyes. Her eyebrow rise as she glances at her laptop and sees 27 notification begging for her attention. She swaggers over to the kitchenette, takes a chocolate milk out of the main fridge, grabs a banana and a jar of peanut butter from the cupboard, a knife from her drawer, and pulls pulls several paper towel from the standing wall. She returns to her desk, plays the paper towel down, all but one, then the jar of a peanut butter 
Then the knife as she begins opening her messages. She glances at the photo of her and the dog. Rachel. Don't judge me, Zeki. We both know there hasn't been a man in here since you left. Let's just change that. Hey there, beautiful. Have you been a naughty girl? Her? You are a warrior queen seeking to discover your true powers. And I am here to... Not another guru. Ugh. Are you lonesome tonight? Nope. Not that lonesome. Do you really know what you're looking for? No. But it isn't you. Why can't any of these guys just engage in a normal conversation? A laptop pings again with an Mr. instant message. The screen showing the, name, the username Mr. Not Quite Right. Makito. Hey there. How was your shift? You, I do. <laughs> Who told you nope. I do shift? All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Paquito, start again. Hey there. How was your shift? Which I'll be wary. Who told you I do shift work? No one, but uh, you just confirmed it. Oh, okay. Um, could this be a normal conversation? Mm, I guess I haven't decompressed yet. Let's say my shift was challenging. Mm. Are you going tough? Must be very patient to put it like that. Not sure my colleagues would agree, LOL. Well. <laughs> well, here's my number. Call me. Number undisclosed, of course. Give me one second, I'm just taking down notes. Um, Interior, Andrew's studio apartment, night. Andrew wears a Bluetooth headset. On one screen, he photoshops a dog like Rachel's into a photo of a guy in the park. On the other screen, the dating site's instant messaging, messaging app is open. Not a bitch, I just like dog. On screen. Rachel, um, I'm not sure. You seem nice. Just been hit up by too many freaks lately. What's the harm? Um, give me a second, guys. Uh, my computer is loading. Just give me one, like one second. Sorry, sorry. What is that your computer? Bit, that sound? Yes, I just I shut hate, it off. Sorry. I hate that sound, like. That sound is the most annoying thing. My laptop makes that sound. It's making it for like six months. I finally got rid of that sound yesterday. Like that sound yes, makes it move my sanity. Yeah, like I can show you how to turn it off. Not just mute it. Like I can show you how to I kill that sound. Up. The sound is annoying. <laughs> I and when I heard the sound, I was on my, okay. I was on my laptop. I almost broke my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So uh start from what's the harm? Uh yeah, Andre, what's the harm? What's the harm? I call you later, maybe. Andre's face from the nose down, he smacks. Cut to interior, Rachel's to the apartment night. Rachel picks up her phone, then stops herself. Okay, slow down, girl. Um, let's at least look over the profile first. Hmm. She sets her phone down and clicks on his profile link. Close on screen, the profile picture is of a fit guy, free climbing, taken from below. His face, um, 
in Paquito, please take note of that. We need pictures of you now, form pictures of you to create a profile. Uh -huh. um, and also, Shita, we need pictures of you to create a profile. Okay. Yes, I will get send you. Hello, Peter Parker. The next photo is of a group of ruggedly handsome 30 something guys on a sailboat, all in sunglasses. She picks up the phone and dials. A deep, smooth, masculine voice responds on the third ring. Uh, you forgot to conceal your number. Richard freezes momentarily, then laughs awkward. <laughs> so I did. Um, just don't sell it to email marketers. She clicks to another photo. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Keep going, Andre. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, nothing. I just uh, spilled some chocolate milk. Well, how about you let me buy you some hot chocolate? I could um, meet you at the corner of Culvert Ave and Sixth and say 20 or 30 minutes. All right. Um, the the foot trip. Quick, uh, sorry, just, just a note. The sign might change because uh, when we get to the location, I might have us change the sign to the street sign. So when we're shooting, we can show that exact street sign. All right. All right, keep going. The food truck near the, the, food truck near the park? I offer nothing but the best. <laughs> hmm. Throwing a bear claw. Seems funny? Interior, Andre's to the apartment, night. Andre gets up from his three monitors as he walks across the room. As he walks across the room, two of his walls are full of supermodel posters and fan mag pics. He runs his finger through his hair before pulling on a warm leather jacket, all backed on the camera. He unzips a knapsack and takes out his wallet. Inside are work gloves, zip ties, a roll of duct tape, and a survival knife. He zips it again before slinging it over his shoulder. He grabs a phone, his phone and keys from his desk and exits. Fade two. Interior, Rachel to the apartment night. Rachel takes off the rope. She keeps her pajama shirt on and puts on, puts on jeans. She dabs concealer on a dark circle and puts on lip gloss, combs and, and breathe her air before pulling on before putting on Og's boots and her jacket. Fade to exterior apartment complex sunrise. Rachel emerges from the building and heads off quickly down the street, eager with anticipation. 10. Exterior park, full truck in the background moments later. Still morning. Um, as Rachel cuts through the park with her phone in her hand, she notices a guy leaning on the street, a straight line pole close to the park as she hears, as she nears, as she nears, he stands and smiles at her. She approaches him as though she knew him, but the guy was startled and begins to walk away. Richard begins to wonder what could have happened when she hears a voice from behind her. Andre. Top of the morning, uh, Miss Not a Bitch. Richard looks around in surprise. Miss Not Quite Right. Mr. Not quite what, Mr. Not quite what you were expecting. I expected some resemblance to your picture. But your voice is mature. Voice is an instrument in which you can play any way you want. Ugh. Be careful. It's really hot. Is the dog at least yours? It's my cousin's. Uh, you'd probably like him, but he's married. 
and yet you use his photo on a random dating site. Mm. Shoot, he's cool with it. I warned you, be patient. Listen, if you saw me in those pictures, would you, would you have come here or even talked to me? Honestly, probably not. Is this like your thing to see which woman uh, takes the bait? Wow. How often does that actually work? You'd be surprised on how many it does. Does what? Take the bait, my darling. <laughs> See, you like it. I can tell you're into it. Oh. <laughs> don't be so impressed with yourself. I don't get out much. I'm easily amused. I can't believe I, I fell for this. I mean, I've done worse before. Worse? <laughs> it makes me feel a little, little at ease. Well, it's not my fault you tricked me. Well, you know, it could be worse. You could be abducted. Really? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Not much you're into. Well, maybe I am. Would you like to have sex? I'd love to. Obnoxious, I was going to say, have another hot chocolate. But what the heck? You live only once, right? She got I leave Africa. just across the park. <laughs> you wanna say that again together? No, uh, uh, Shita, you gotta, you gotta slow down for us because you are way ahead of me and Paquita. Let me read the action as soon as okay. I read the action, then you guys say it together, okay? All right, so that way everyone is okay. in sync. Let's all be in sync. So she gulps the last drop of a co cocoa from a paper cup. Andre takes her cup from her and throws both their cup in the public bean, but misses. He walks back to Rachel, who was stretching at the moment. Andrea and Rachel. I live, I live just across, across the park. park. <laughs> you want to try that again? Okay, let's do it. All right. Andrea and Rachel. I live just, just across, across the park. park. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say two <laughs> two. <laughs> two. I don't know what we're gonna do. On location, we have some three, two, one. Now you guys. three, two, one. All right. Three, okay. two, I leave one. just across no the way. park. No way. I say three. We <laughs> have <laughs> 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 okay. one. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. I live just across the park. I live oh, no, just not across the park. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Good job, guys. All right, good. <laughs> Three, two, one. I live. I live just, just across, across the, park. the park. Oh wow! All right, we gotta try that again. Once the two of you, once you hear one, you say it together. It has to be in sync, okay? Three, okay. two, yes. one. I live just across the park. I live just across the park. Okay, all right, let's move on. On set, we'll have someone signal you guys to do this. Yeah, yeah I'll um, take the timing. Yeah, right yeah, with the Johnny's just said we should blame it on Zoom and the internet. So we just. Yeah, I think it's then, probably just the Zoom with yeah. them like syncing up the, the dialogue yeah. is just probably off on her end or his end. So one saying it before the other. Yeah, and it's, so, like, so it's not we, translating over well. Um, so we just blame it on Zoom. That's fine. <laughs> Um, everyone, that's Jonis. That's my AD. Um, Jonis, can we see your face or 
either one wants to see a Thanksgiving face? <laughs> oh, okay, there she is. Hey how guys. You doing? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, that's uh sorry I joined late. I was like helping my mom and stuff out. Yeah, but, but I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, it's nice to have you. Nice to have you. Thank you for joining us though. You're welcome. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and keep reading. Um cut to exterior apartment complex morning. They approach the building, she's a pace in front of him. As she gets to the door, she turns to look at him playfully, biting her lips. Rachel. Your place or uh, mine? Yours. Uh, I wasn't exactly expecting company. And I, I, I didn't really think this would work, so I really prepare for company. She looks embarrassed and she laughs out loud. <laughs> Typical boy. Come on. My place it is then. Cut to interior Rachel City apartment moments later. She takes her keys out and unlocks the door. Rachel ushers him in and looks around in amusement. Andre. Wow. Uh, looks just like mine, but cleaner and nicer. Huh. Cute dog. Rachel? Oh, that's, that's Zeki. Just make yourself at home. I really have to use the bathroom. Cut to interior of Rachel's bathroom continues. She Thanks. closes the door and turns, to, turns on the faucet. Cut to interior of Rachel's apartment. Um, Andre sets down his backpack, takes off his jacket, and hangs it on the chair. He gets up and slowly begins to get towards the bathroom. Then he gets to the door. He reaches out his hand to turn the knob. The lights go black. Cut to interior. Reach out to the apartment. Afternoon. Still gonna be in the morning, whatever. Um, only hear noise of someone struggling. The light snaps back on. Andre is tied to Rachel's chair with his mouth covered with duct tape, making inaudible sounds. Rachel holding his knife, surrounded by other contents of his bag. Rachel. It will never cease to amaze me. It's funny how quickly the tables can turn. <laughs> Oh, man, that's some evil laugh there, man. I don't know. That's, that's evil. <laughs> Makito, are you safe? I don't know. <laughs> the wall behind her is covered with different pictures of men. She marks a big red X across Andre's picture. She picks up the roll of duct tape, tears of a piece, tears of a piece, looks directly at the camera before putting her finger to her lips with a conspiratorial wink. Then places the tape across the lens. The end. Okay. That was an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll do a second one. So the first one was kind of different from what we did last time. I don't know. I feel like you guys have um, had had not done this in a while. So it wasn't moving on me because of the interruption. But we'll do a second one and then we'll see what it looks like. Um, Shitan, I just want you to take note of when you're talking to the frame and when you're talking to the laptop screen. All right. So like when, when, um, I wasn't dancing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so, for example, the point where um, when the call came in and you said, could this be a normal conversation? Um, just be mindful of the fact that you're asking the dog. So you, ask, you could ask the dog in a whisper or you just turn your head like you're talking to the dog on the frame and then you, go, you come back to the 
to the laptop screen. Um, so yeah, let's do a second read. I'd read the action. Joyce, can you read the action? Yeah, sure, that's fine. You have the scripts where you're at? Yep. Okay, all right. So um, Joyce will read the action. I will take notes mm -hmm. and we are good to go for a second read. You guys are ready? Okay, so I'll start. Um, interior, Andre's studio apartment, midnight. Black. Suddenly, duct tape is peeled away, revealing the dim interior of a room. A pair of, mus a bear of masculine legs walk out of frame. We hear a door open and close. A limp feminine hand drops into view. Interior, Rachel's studio apartment, night. The room is dimly lit. The sound of keys unlocking the door. Rachel, 26, and scrubs it and enters humming a tune. Her face is hidden by the groceries in her hand. She attempts to shut her door, but does not close it completely. And as she exits the frame to the kitchen to put down the grocery, we see the half closed door. Without bothering to flip the light on, walks across the room to a desk, powers up a laptop, turns on a lamp, sets down keys and phone, and heads for the bathroom. Clothes on the desk full of post-its and trinkets. The most prominent, a dog, a picture of a smiling little girl and her dog. As the laptop finishes booting up, desktop notifications start to ping. The shower can be heard running. Interior, Andre's studio apartment, night. Clothes on masculine hands being rinsed under the bathroom faucet. Andre walks out of the bathroom in a pair of singlet and boxers to sit in front of three PC monitors. He quickly flips through profiles on different dating sites. Suddenly, he stops on one that grabs his attention. The main profile pic is a smiling young woman, airborne while jumping on a trampoline in cut-off shorts and a tank top. Her thick, dark blonde hair flying around her face. Hmm. Maybe. He goes over her profile carefully. A graduation photo from nursing school, hiking with friends in the mountains, sitting in the lotus position on top of a rock in a park, and finally, a picture of her and her dog. <laughs> B-I-N-G-O-N. Bingo was her name, oh. Interior, Rachel's studio apartment night. The bathroom door opens and we see Rachel, late 20s, wearing a SpongeBob bathrobe with wet hair and dark circles under her eyes. Her eyebrows rise as she glances at her laptop and sees 27 notifications begging for her attention. She swaggers over to her kitchenette, takes the chocolate milk out of the mini fridge, grabs a banana, a jar of peanut butter from the cupboard, a knife from the drawer, and pulls several paper towels from the standing roll. She returns to her desk, places the paper towels down, all but one, then the jar of peanut butter, then the knife as she begins opening her messages. She glances at the photo of her, of her and the dog. Don't judge me, Ziggy. We both know there hasn't been a man here ever since you left. Let's change that. Hey there, beautiful. Have you been a naughty girl? Ugh, oh, her. You are a warrior queen seeking to discover your true power and I'm here to, oh my God, not another guru. Hmm. He pauses to apply some peanut butter to the banana takes a bite, then chases it down with a swig of chocolate milk. Mm. Are you lonesome tonight? Nope, not that lonesome. Do you really know what you're looking for? No, but it isn't you. Why can't any of these guys just engage in a normal conversation? Her laptop pings again with an instant message. The screen showing the username, Mr. Knight, not quite right. Hey there, how was your shift? Rachel, bit wary, begins typing. Who told you I do shift work? No one, but you just confirmed it. She smiles and looks at her dog's picture. Could this be a normal conversation? I guess I haven't decompressed yet. Let's say my shift was challenging. Graveyards are tough. Must be very patient to put it like that. 
<laughs> Rachel scuffs and then types on. Not mm, I'm not sure my colleagues would agree with that. LOL. Here's my number. Call me. Number undisclosed, of course. Rachel pulls back from the screen, wary of the proposal. Cut to interior Andre's studio apartment night. Andre wears a Bluetooth headset. On one screen, he photoshops a dog like Rachel's into a photo of a guy in the park. On the other screen, the dating site's instant messages, messaging app is open. I'm not sure. You seem nice. Just uh, been hit up by too many freaks lately. Andre dictates into his headset. Uh, what's the harm? I'll call you later, maybe? Andre's face from the nose down, he smirks. Cut to interior Rachel's studio apartment night. Rachel picks up her phone, then stops herself. Okay. Slow down, girl. Let's at least look over his profile. She sets her phone down and clicks on his profile link. Close on screen. The profile picture is of a fake guy free climbing taken from below. His face is not visible. Hello, Peter Parker. The next photo is of a group of ruggedly handsome 30-something guys on a sailboat, all in sunglasses. She picks up the phone and dials. A deep, smooth, masculine voice responds on the third ring. Got to conceal your number. Rachel freezes momentarily, then laughs awkwardly. <laughs> um, so, so I did. Um, just don't sell it to the email marketers. She clicks to another photo, the one with the dog like hers. Her eyebrow, her, her eyes grow wide as she looks from the screen to her photo. That has to be a sign. Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Oh, um, nothing. I just spilled some chocolate milk. <laughs> Well, how about you let me buy you some hot chocolate? I could meet you at the corner of COVID and uh, six and say 20 or 30 minutes. For a moment, she does not know how to react, but then she has an idea. A slight smile appears on her face. The food truck near the park? I offer nothing but the best. Rachel laughs and squints at the time on her phone. <laughs> Throw in a bear claw. See you in 20? Interior, Andre studio apartment night. Andre gets up from his three monitors. As he walks across the room, two of his... Two, sorry. As he walks across the room, two of his walls are full of supermodel posters and fan mag pics. He runs his fingers through his hair before pulling on a worn leather jacket. Always back to the camera. He unzips the knapsack and takes out his wallet inside of work gloves, zip ties, a roll of duct tape, and a survival knife. He zips it again before slinging it over his shoulder. He grabs his phone and keys from his desk and exits. Interior, Rachel studio apartment night. Rachel takes off the robe. She keeps her pajamas shirt on and puts on jeans. She dabs concealer on her dark circles and puts it and puts on lip gloss, combs and braids her hair before pulling on a boots in her jacket. Fade to exterior apartment complex sunrise. Rachel emerges from the building and heads off quickly down the street, eager with anticipation. Exterior park. Moments later, as Rachel cuts through the park with her phone in her hand, she notices a guy leaning on the street light pole close to the park. As she nears her, as she nears, he stands and smiles at her. She approaches him as though she knows him, but the guy was startled and begins to walk away. Rachel begins to wonder what could have happened when she hears a voice from behind her. Top of the morning, Miss Not a Bitch. Miss Not Rachel. Quite Right. Mr. Not Quite What You Expected. I 
expected a slight resemblance to your picture? She holds up her phone showing him one of the pictures from his online profile. But your voice is mature. Voice is an instrument which you can play any way you want. <laughs> she scuffs Andre's hands. Andre hands her a paper cup. Be careful. It's really hot. She takes a bite of the bear claw, examining him. Is the dog at least yours? That's my cousin's. But you probably like him. But he's married. And yet you use his photo on a random dating site. He's cool with it. He crosses his heart. She tries to sip the cocoa and burns her lip. <laughs> I warned you. Be patient. Listen. If you saw me in those pictures, would you have come here? Or even talked to me? She takes another bite, thinking as he blows on his cocoa. Honestly, probably not. Is this like your thing to see which woman takes the bait? Well. How often does that work? He smiles and takes a sip, nodding. You'd be surprised on how many it does. Does what? Takes a bit, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> See, you like it. I could tell you're into it. Don't be so impressed with yourself. I don't get out much. I'm usually amused. I can't believe I fell for this. I mean, I have done worse before. Worse, wow. That makes me feel a little at ease. <laughs> she grins while she laughs again. <laughs> well, it's not my fault you tricked me. You know, it could be worse. You could have been abducted. Really? No, no, not at all. Unless you're into that sort of thing. He moves closer, she tenses up. Well, maybe. She gives him a flirtatious look. He gets even closer, like he might intend to kiss her, but then takes a big bite of her bear claw. They both laugh as she takes a drink of cocoa. She looks at a public seat nearby, and he looks at her face. Would you like to have sex? I'd love to. Obnoxious. I was going to say, have another hot chocolate? But what the heck? You only leave once. She gulps the last drop of her hot cocoa from her paper cup. Andre takes her cup from her and throws both their cups in a public bin, but misses. He walks back to Rachel, who is stretching at the moment. I live just, I live just across the park. park. <laughs> they both laugh and stare at each other, then turn their heads simultaneously in the direction Rachel walked from. They walk across the park. Cut to... Exterior apartment complex morning. They approach the building. She's a pace in front of him. As she gets to the door, she turns to look at him playfully, biting her lip. So, your place or mine? Yours. I wasn't exactly sure this would work, so I didn't uh, exactly prepare for company. Typical boy. Well, come on in then. My place it is. Cut to interior Rachel's studio apartment moments later. He takes, she takes her keys out and unlocks the door. Rachel ushers him in and he looks around in amusement. Wow. Looks just like my place except cleaner and nicer. He sees a picture of her and the dog and walks toward it. Ah, 
Ooh, shoot dog. That's Zeki. Um, just make yourself at home. I really have to use the bathroom. Thanks for sharing. Interior Rachel's bathroom continuous. She closes the door and turns on the faucet. Interior Rachel's studio apartment continuous. Andre sits down his backpack, takes his jacket off, and hangs it on the on the chair. He gets up and slowly begins to gesture towards the bathroom. When he gets to the door, he reaches out his hand to turn the knob. The lights go black. Interior Rachel's studio apartment afternoon. Still black, only hear noises of someone struggling. The lights snap back on. Andre is tied to Rachel's chair with his mouth covered with duct tape, making inaudible sounds. Ooh. Camera on Rachel sitting on her bed facing Andre. Rachel, hold, Rachel holding his knife, surrounded by other contents of his bag. It'll never cease to amaze me. It's funny how quickly the tables can turn. The wall behind her is covered with different pictures of men. She marks a big red X across Andre's name. She looks back, she picks up the roll of duct tape, turns, tears off the piece, looks directly at the camera, before putting her finger to her lips with a conspiratorial wink, then places the duct then places the tape across the lens. The end. All right. Um that that was a good read. Thank you guys. Um so yeah, this next read we'll be doing, I want you, Paquito, to give us the, the Judge Clooney vibes. You're doing great, but you know, come like the you know the Playboy vibes. And Pita, you gotta give us the, the Priyanka Chopra vibe, you know, the the Playgirl vibe. Um <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I want you to be playful with the reading, um, be as playful as possible, um, use vocal variety. Um, I like the Arnold impression, Arnold voice impression. The takes a bit part. I'm kind of that place is kind of like driving me nuts. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe what... we should just I'll take out the cartoon voice and just make it like just regular take the beat and just take out that take the beat. Yeah. Like, so just be playing. Um, yeah. So let's do this one more time. Um, I think we should take a deep breath um, so we could we should do some breathing exercise. Um, Shita, you want to lead us in the breathing exercise? Because I know that you're very good at this. So breathe and hold it for 30 seconds until you cannot breathe no more. Okay. 10, 20, 30. Okay, um, I think we're good. All right, so. Um, and that's gonna wake you up. The what? Also, keep. So, if um, sometimes you're sleepy, you hold your breath for 30 seconds, it awakens you. Yeah, yeah it sends blood to, to the brain. All right, um, also keep in mind, I would need um, pictures of you guys, um, especially playful pictures. You could get your friends to take you. Um, multiple playful pictures. You can jump and do whatever. If you have some, you can just send them. Um, I need those pictures to create like an online profile for uh, for the for the both of you. Andre, I need a picture of you on the tree. I don't know how you're gonna do that. You know, um, I don't know how you're gonna do that. Like climbing a tree. Yeah, because that's what's in the script. You know. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be a tree per se, I mean, like, a pole, but, you know, to just give that Peter Parker vibe, okay? So when she says, hello, Peter Parker, we show right. a picture. Um, Shita? Hi. So, you know, there's a Reface app where you can take our pictures and just, like, reface it on somebody else's face. 
also that's the first thing i have three things the second thing is can you make a list of every outfit we need like somebody can make a list so we can prepare so like the spongebob bathrobe i don't have that so if somebody can make a list okay these are the outfits you need 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 so when you have a list it will make life easier and then the third thing i will need if um somebody can just um tell us like for every scene what are the colors they want that's it and i think uh, oh oh and the um, pictures the, the the pictures make a list of all the pictures you need like a list of all the pictures you need and a list of costume changes that's it because okay. it needs to be listed you know this color this yeah all right uh, i don't know why we will need a face app but um for the pictures we could always get you guys a list of all the pictures that you um, bring in it was the idea Oh, yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, you guys will have a list. Um, outfit as well. I've had all this discussion with the art director. She would reach out to you later by tomorrow. And I would also be reaching out to you guys to finalize all of those things. But we have a list of everything. Um, and that's why I have that group chat with the costume in it so that you guys can send a picture of everything I want to finalize on the outfit for each of those scenes. Um, then, but for Andre, you, you don't really have that much because you're in your room, you're wearing a white t-shirt and a pair of boxer, and then you put on a leather jacket, you wear blue jeans, and then you're out of the building. Okay, for you, that. you're in your room, you came in in your scrub outfits. Um, for the, from the scrub outfits, you move, you change to the bathroom robe, you don't have to do the SpongeBob because you don't have a SpongeBob, but you can use any bathroom robe to keep your hair wet or too well on your head. And from there, you put on the pajamas and the blue jeans and the Ox boots, and that's it. And then the closing scene, you're going to be wearing the lead um, lingerie, but you could have like a bathroom robe over it as well. So that's pretty much the outfits. But we will have a list, and we will cross-check everything with you guys to make sure you have all the necessary outfits for each of those things. All right. Um, what was the third thing you said? Outfit. Me? Yeah, you said outfit. Uh, we need app and what? A, a oh, list of and outfits the, for every scene and list of pictures. Okay, so list of pictures. So let me have this. List of pictures list of outfits yeah you you would need that dog your brother's dog you need to take a picture with that dog and you need to have um a portrait of the dog as well. okay yeah. um so let's do a final read um where's she going my, my phone is about to die and i don't want you just so i just i'm just <laughs> plugging the wire so the so the so I'm ready. All right. Um, so this time you're reading it. Um, I need you guys to be in character. Give me the Judge Clooney vibe. Give me the Priyanka Chopra vibe. Um, play with the vocal variety a little bit, but don't go out of the ballpark. Just be in range. Um, and um, Shita, when you're laughing in the end, the laughing, uh, that's something we need to work on as well. Because um, I said the laughing will be used for when the credits are rolling. So do not oh, laugh immediately no. after the last line. I'm ready. I just had to plug the wire so my phone doesn't die. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, take your time. You need you need any help? You want us to come help you? Yeah, she's not there. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I was asking if you need any help.
are you back? For me? Yeah. Wait, I, hello? Hello, are you back? Are you ready for the read? Who are you talking to me? Yes. I'm... Hello, yes. Shikha. I'm here. You, you can, I think there's an internet problem. Oh, okay. So are you oh, ready yeah, for the read? I've been ready for the past like 30, 40 seconds. Hello, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Okay. You can't oh. hear me? Or you I can hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Jonis. Are you, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. So uh, could you please read the action one more time? And then we'll do it. Sure. Thank you. Interior, Andre Studio, apartment night. Black. Suddenly, duct tape is peeled away, revealing the dim interior of a room. A pair of bare masculine legs walk, walk out of frame. We hear a door open and close. A limp feminine hand drops into view. Cut to interior, Rachel's studio, apartment night. The room is dimly lit. The sound of keys unlocking the door. Rachel, 26 inch scrubs, enters humming a tune. Her face is hidden by the groceries in her hand. Mm -hmm. She attempts to shut her door, but does not close it completely. And as she exits the frame to the kitchen to put down the groceries, mm -hmm. we see the half door, we see the half closed door. Without bothering to flip the lights on, walks across the room to a desk, powers up the laptop, turns on a lamp, sets down keys and phone, and heads for the bathroom. Close on the desk full of post-its and trinkets. The most prominent, a picture of a smiling little girl and her dog. As the laptop finishes booting up, desktop notifications start to ping. The shower can be heard running. Cut to interior Andre studio apartment night. Clothes on a masculine hand being rinsed under the bathroom faucet. Andre walks out of the bathroom in a pair of singlet and boxes and sits in front of three PC monitors. He quickly flips through the profiles on different dating sites. Suddenly he stops on one that grabs his attention. The main profile pic is a smiling young woman, airborne while jumping on a trampoline in cut-off shorts and a tank top, her thick, dark blonde hair flying across her face. Maybe. He goes over her profile carefully. A graduation photo from nursing school, hiking with friends in the mountains, sitting in a lotus position on top of a rock in a park, and finally, a picture of her and her dog. B-I-N-G-O? And Bingo was her name all. Cut to interior Rachel's studio apartment night. The bathroom door opens and we see Rachel, late 20s, wearing a SpongeBob bathrobe with wet hair and dark circles under her eyes. Her eyebrows rise as she glances at her laptop and sees 27 notifications begging for her attention. She swaggers over to her kitchen neck, takes the chocolate milk out of the mini fridge, grabs a banana, a jar of peanut butter from the cupboard, a knife from the drawer, and pulls several paper towels from the standing roll. She returns to her desk, places the paper towels down, all but one. Then the jar of peanut butter, then the knife as she begins to opening her messages. She glances at the photo of her and the dog. Don't judge me, Zeki. We both know there hasn't been a man in here since you left. Let's change that. Hey there, beautiful. Have you been a naughty girl? Oh, her. You are the warrior queen seeking to discover your true power, and I'm here to alone some tonight. No, not that lonesome. Do you really know what you're looking for? No, but it isn't you. Why can't any of these guys just engage in a normal conversation? Her laptop pings again with an instant message. The screen showing the username, Mr. Not Quite Right. Hey there. How's your shift? Who told Rachel, you how to shift? Uh, uh, Jimmy, please just read the action. Rachel, a bit wary, begins typing. Who told you I do ship work? No one, but you just confirmed it. 
She smiles and looks at her dog's picture. Could this be a normal conversation? Oh, I guess I haven't decompressed yet. Let's say my shift was uh, challenging. Mm. Graveyards are tough. You must be very patient to put it like that. Rachel stuffs then types on. Not sure my colleagues would agree. LOL. Here's my number. Call me. Number undisclosed, of course. Rachel pulls back from the screen, wary of the of the proposal. Cut to interior Andre studio apartment night. Andre wears a Bluetooth headset. On one screen, he photoshops a dog like Rachel's into a photo of a guy in the park. On the other screen, the dating site's instant messaging app is open. I'm not sure. Y you seem nice, just being hit by too many freaks lately. Andre dictates into his headset. What's the harm? I'll call you later. Andre's face from the nose down. He smirks. Cut to interior Rachel's studio apartment night. Rachel picks up her phone, then stops herself. Okay, slow down, girl. Let's at least look over his profile. Mm -hmm. She sets her phone down and clicks on his profile link. Close on screen, the profile picture is of a fake guy free climbing taken from below. His face is not visible. Hello, Peter Parker. The next photo is of a group of ruggedly handsome 30 something guys on a sailboat all in sunglasses. She picks up the phone and dials. A deep, smooth, masculine voice responds on the third ring. You forgot to conceal your number. Rachel freezes momentarily, then laughs awkwardly. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I did. I'll just I'll send it to the email marketers. She clicks to another photo, the one with a dog like hers. Her eyes grow wide as she looks from the screen to her phone, to her photo. That has to be a sign. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, nothing. I just spilled some chocolate milk. Well, how about you let me buy you some hot chocolate? I can meet you at the corner COVID Avenue in uh, six and say 20 or 30. For a moment, she does not know how to react, but then she has an idea. A slight smile appears on her face. The food truck near the park. I offer nothing but the best. Rachel laughs and squints at the time <laughs> on her phone. Throw in a bear claw. See in 20? Interior Andre studio apartment night. Andre gets up from his three monitors. As he walks across the room, two of his walls are full of supermodel posters and fan mag pics. He runs his fingers through his hair before pulling on a worn leather jacket, always back to the camera. He unzips a knapsack and takes out his wallet inside of work gloves, zip ties, a roll of duct tape, and a survival knife. He zips it again before slinging it over his shoulder. He grabs his phone and keys from his desk and exits. Day two, interior Rachel studio apartment night. Rachel takes off the robe. She keeps her pajama shirt on and puts on jeans. She dabs concealer on her dark circles and puts on lip gloss. Combs and braids her hair before pulling on Uggs and her jacket. Day two, exterior apartment complex. Rachel emerges from the building and heads off quickly down the street, eager with anticipation. Exterior park. As Rachel cuts through the park with her phone in her hand, she notices a guy leaning on the street light pole close to the park. As she nears, he stands and smiles at her. She approaches him as though she knows him, but the guy was startled and begins to walk away. 
Rachel begins to wonder what could have happened when she hears a voice from behind her. Top of the morning, Miss Not a Bitch. Rachel it's looks around in surprise. Right. Andre is not any of the guys from his profile pic. He's nice looking, but Max early 20s. He holds the bear claw out to her. Rachel slows her pace and tentatively accepts the bear claw. Mr. Not Quite Right. Mr. Not Quite What You Expected. I expected a slight resemblance to your pic. She holds up her phone showing him one of the pictures from his online profile. But your voice is very mature. Voice is an instrument which you can play any way you want. She scuffs. Andre <laughs> hands her a paper cup. Be careful. It's really hot. She takes a bite of a bear claw examining him. Is the dog at least yours? It's my cousin's. You'd probably like him, but he's married. Do you use his photo on a random dating site? He's cool with it. He crosses his heart. He tries, she tries to sip the cocoa and burns her lip. <laughs> I warned you, be patient and listen. If you saw me in those pictures, would you have come here or even talk to me? She takes another bite thinking as he blows on his cocoa. Honestly, probably not. Is this like your thing to see which woman takes the bait? Well. How far does that actually work? He smiles and takes a sip, nodding. You'd be surprised on how many it does. Does what? Take the bait, my darling. She looks at a lot. <laughs> See, you like it. I could tell you're into it. Don't be so impressed with yourself. I don't get out much. I'm easily amused. I can't believe I fell for this. I mean, I've done worse before. <laughs> worse? Wow, that makes me feel a little at ease. She grins while she laughs again. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. You tricked me. You know, it could be worse. You could be abducted. Really? No. No, not at all. Unless you're into that sort of thing. He moves closer. She tenses up. Well, maybe I am. She gives him a fl flirtatious look. He gets even closer, like he might intend to kiss her, but then takes a big bite of the bear claw. They both laugh. As she takes a drink of cocoa, <laughs> she looks at a public seat nearby, and he looks at her face. Would you like to uh, have sex? I'd love to. Obnoxious. I was going to say have another hot chocolate, but what the heck? You only leave once, right? She gulps the last drop of hot cocoa from her paper cup. Andre takes her cup from her and throws both of theirs in a public bin, but misses. He walks back to Rachel, who was stretching at the moment. I leave just across, just across the, park. the park. They both laughed and stared at each other, <laughs> then turned their heads simultaneously in the direction Rachel walked from. They walk across the park. Cut to exterior apartment complex warning. They approach the building. She's a pace in front of him. As she gets to the door, she turns to look at him playfully biting her lip. So, your place or mine? 
yours. Uh, wasn't exactly sure this would work, so I didn't exactly prepare for company. He looks embarrassed and she rips out loud. Typical boy. Well, come on on then. My place it is. Cut to interior Rachel's studio apartment moments later. She takes, his, she takes her keys out and locks the door. Rachel ushers him in and he looks around in amusement. Uh, looks just like mine, except cleaner and nicer. He sees the picture of her and the dog and walks toward it. Cute dog. That's Zeki. Just make yourself at home. I really have to use the bathroom. Thanks for sharing. Cut to interior Rachel's yeah. bathroom, continuous. She closes the door and turns on the faucet. Cut to interior Rachel's studio apartment, continuous. Andre sits down his backpack, takes his jacket off and hangs it on the chair. He gets up and slowly begins to gesture towards the bathroom. When he gets to the door, he reaches out his hand to turn the knob. The lights go black. Interior Rachel's studio apartment afternoon. Still black, only hearing noises of someone struggling. The lights snap back on. Andre is tied to Rachel's chair with his mouth covered with duct tape, making inaudible sounds. Camera, on Rachel sitting on her bed facing Andre. Rachel holding his knife, surrounded by the other contents of his bag. It will never cease to amaze me. It's funny how quickly the tables have turned. The wall behind her is covered with different pictures of men. She marks a big red X across Andre's face. She picks up the roll of duct tape, tears off a piece, looks directly at the camera, before putting her finger to her lips with a conspiratorial wink, then places the tape across the lens. The end. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, she's evil. <laughs> oh, <Lord> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm coming on set with some holy water. <laughs> and some cross. I'm coming with Van Helsing's cross. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like the direction you guys took it, especially when you whispered that um, the the last line she told when you whispered it. I think yeah, you will come closer and whisper it into his ears, and that would give us room for a very that would be like an extreme close shot of you whispering it into his ears. Um, his ears. Um, try and say that again, please. The last line, just the last line. Say it again. Let me just. Okay. So I'll just pretend this is my knife, okay? Okay. It'll never cease to amaze me. What's going on? I just said it. No, no, no. Your internet froze. The devil is a liar. Try it, please. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll never cease to amaze me. It's funny how quickly the tables have turned. All right, say it one more time. It'll never cease to amaze me. How quickly the tables have turned. No, 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 no. Just whisper it. Don't, don't try whispering with an evil voice. Just a whisper. Oh, just whisper it like regular? Okay. Yeah, just a regular okay. whisper. It'll never cease to amaze me. It's funny how quickly the tables can turn. Oh, that's evil, man. That's going to work. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let's stick with that for now. Um, I have to change some things in the short list as well because that that was really good. Um, one thing I was just missing was when you were reading 
the intro parts uh, where you were reading all the text messages. Um, remember to mi always mimic a male's voice towards the last two text messages. All right. Me? Yeah, yeah, that was for you. Remember how we did the first Which rehearsal? When you're reading the- Which one? Which one? Uh, Which where, one? You, where you said, um, are you lonesome tonight? You could just read that with a male's voice. Like oh. Mimicking the male's voice. Got it. All right. So that's just okay. the only thing. Um, I think are you lonesome tonight? No, not the extra. Are you lonesome tonight? Oh, God. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, Duffo? What's up, Paquito? Oh, What's up? What's up? You're about, you about to start something. <laughs> <laughs> but Kino, you I don't know, man. You gotta save me. Save me. <laughs> trying to save myself, bro. Shoot, she can me. <laughs> I'm coming with holy water. And I'm yeah. <laughs> Are you lonesome tonight? How's it going, baby? <laughs> um so yeah, that was a great read. I enjoyed myself watching you two. Uh, you two got the vibe. Um, so I think we should just do one that's very similar to acting, whereby you act everything out, you drink, you move, uh, you take the tape off the screen. Um, and Janice would not, be, would not be reading the action part. So it's just acting now, okay? Um, but just remember to give yourself some space in between. After you've said your line, um, give the next speaker space to say their own line too and just let us see what it looks like, okay? So there will be no action reading in this one. It's just like almost acting, but you know, it's gonna be Zoom acting. So whenever you guys are ready, um, I'll give you the cue. You guys are ready? Pakito, you ready? Okay, um, Shita, you ready? All right, good. Um, and that's it. Maybe. Wait, wash your hand. And then Richard comes in with a grocery. Laptop. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Wait, am I reading it? Am I reading or not? I'm just uh, doing the. Uh, well, after, uh, after he says B I N G O, you can start reading your line. Uh, uh, am I just doing the action in the yeah your internet just messed everything up Shita are you still with us um I think she's gone Um, Rachel, you're back. Paquito, you still there? Okay. No, I mean... Okay. Um, looks like she's gone. Jonas, you're still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I think it's our internet. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking that too. 
Yeah, it's an internet. Mm -hmm. Give me one sec. Uh, she just texted me. You have reached the voicemail box of 916. Are you back? Hi, Shita. You back? All right, that's not good. So, you know what we're going to do is we can close it out here. We had two great reads tonight. Um, and then we could have one more in between, maybe on Sunday. We'll do one on Sunday. And we won't have to read the action scene at that one. Okay? Okay. I know she's trying to say something, then. Yo, Shita, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, the internet sucks. All right, um, we'll just call it a night at this point. We... Hello? No, we can't hear you. We didn't hear anything you're saying online. Yeah, but we can't hear you. No one is hearing you. All right, so go out of Zoom and then I'll bring you back in. Hi, can you hear me now? Yes. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh no, it looks like it's back to normal. I'm here. <laughs> All right, hallelujah. Hello. Amen, amen. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello? You can't hear me? No, nah, she's playing. Remember, she plays too much. <laughs> I can't hear you. I, I can hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. you. I can't hear you. How about, how about now? How about now? Can you hear me now? Can I you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can Do you guys understand my action? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh man, that was that was an experience. Okay, so let's do this real fast. This is the last one. We're not ready in action. Um, you guys can start from um mm, maybe? start from uh no no, let's start from you reading the Z key parts. The, the text messages on okay. your phone. Okay. Don't judge me, Zikri. We both know there hasn't been a man in here since you left. Let's change that. Hey there, beautiful. Have you been a naughty girl? Oh, perv. You are the warrior queens seeking to discover your true power. And I'm here to, oh my God, not another guru. Are you lonesome tonight? Nope, not that lonesome. Do you really know what you're looking for? No, but it isn't you. Why can any of these guys just engage in a normal conversation? 
Hey there. How was your shift? Who told you I do shift work? <clears throat> no one, but you just confirmed it. Could this be a normal conversation? Let's say my shift was challenging. Graveyards are tough. You must be very patient to put it like that. <laughs> Not sure my colleagues would agree. LOL. Here's my number. Call me. Number undisclosed, of course. I'm not sure. You seem nice. Just been hit by too many freaks lately. <clears throat> What's the harm? <sighs> okay, slow down, girl. Let's at least look at his profile first. Hello, Peter Parker. You forgot to conceal your number. <laughs> so I did. Just don't sell it to email marketers. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, nothing. I, I just spilled some chocolate milk. Well, how about you let me buy you some hot chocolate? I can meet you at the corner of Covert Avenue and 6th and say 20 or 30 minutes. That food truck near the park? I offer... Nothing but the best. <laughs> Throw in a bear claw, see in 20? All right, I'll go. Top of the morning, Miss. Not a bit. Not quite right. Mr. Not quite what you expected. I expected a slight resemblance to your picture. But your voice is uh, mature. Voice is an instrument which you can play any way you want. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, it's really hot. Is the dog at least yours? It's my cousin's. You probably like him, but he's married. And yet you use his photo on a random dating site. He's cool with it. <laughs> oh. I warned you. Be patient. Now listen, if you saw me in those sites, would you have come here or even talked to me? Honestly? Probably not. Is this like your thing to see which woman takes the bait? Well. <clears throat> How often does that actually work? <laughs> You'd be surprised on how many it does. Does what? Take the bait, my darling. <laughs> See, you like it. <laughs> I could tell you. Is. Don't be so impressed. Mm. Don't be so impressed with 
yourself. I don't get, I can't believe I fell for this. I mean, I've done worse before. Worse? Ooh. Now that makes me feel a little at ease. <laughs> Well, it's not my fault. You tricked me. Well, you know it could be worse. You could have been abducted. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no. Not at all. Unless you're into that sort of thing. Well, maybe I am. Would you like to... Have sex? I'd love to. Obnoxious. I was going to say have another hot chocolate, but what the heck? You only live once, right? I, I live just, just across the park. Across the park. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, your place or mine? Uh, yours. I wasn't exactly sure this would work, so I didn't really prepare for company. Typical boy. Well, come on then. My place it is. Looks just like my place, except cleaner and nicer. Oh. Ah, <laughs> cute dog. Oh, yeah, that's Zeki. Just make yourself at home. I really have to use the bathroom. And thanks for sharing. It'll never cease to amaze me. It's funny how quickly that table's getting turned. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was <laughs> that was a good performance. Thank you guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Paquito. Thanks as always, man. You never disappoint. Thanks, Shita. You never disappoint too. And thanks, Jonas, for always being on top of the game. I appreciate you guys. Um, um, of course, bro. Yeah, of course, bro. <laughs> and thank you guys for spending your time with me. So, yeah, the art director will be reaching out to you with a list of pictures. I would also reach out to you guys individually tomorrow. We'll go through all the list of the pictures. We'll go through the list of the outfits because next week is the shoot and we have to be ready before uh, Wednesday, uh, next week Wednesday. Um, yeah, that was good. So I'm just looking forward to the shoot. We might have like a brief rehearsal, maybe maybe on Tuesday, I don't know yet. Um, if not, we'll just wait till Thursday and when we're at the location, we could rehearse at the location. We will look for like the exterior place where we'll be having the exterior shoot. We'll go do a, a rehearsal at that exterior place too. And um, and then we'll be ready for the shoot on, on Friday. All right, any question? Any contribution? Any suggestion? All right, Paquito, Joni, Shita, I think 
um, we'll just call it a night here. Thank you so much for coming to my Thanksgiving party. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just wanted to say, like, I don't know if you guys have the link to the drive yet, but the call sheets are in the Google Drive under the folder production, and then the call sheets are in the production yeah. folder in a folder called call sheet. So okay. you guys can go and look at those. Awesome, awesome. So I'll share this stuff with you guys. And again, um, Johnny's will probably be reaching out to you with regards to the feeding, allergies, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If you have any question, please reach out to Johnny. She's on the group chat as well. You could just look for her name right there, ask her any question. Um, the link to the folder, I will most likely be sharing it with you guys. I will be sharing everything with you. Um, it's the same folder I think I shared with you guys that has the script and I was telling you if there's a if there's an update on the script um, You'll find in that same folder. So in that same folder if you go on that production You'll see a folder that says call sheets. You will find the the call sheet in there. I um, Jonas, I just updated the call sheet. I just added their names um, On it, but Jonas Hello, Jonas Yeah, I'm here yeah, can you just um, hang on a little bit after um, um, they've gone, they leave the, um, the Zoom meeting and then we could just yeah, have a fine. conversation. All right. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know. The folder, you, I think I already shared the folder with you guys. But tomorrow, again, I will be reaching out to, um, to the two of you individually to just go through some checklists and make sure we have and everything all done. Um, we've already kind of determined what we're going to get for the craft service, but like Dapo said, if you guys have food allergies or anything, please let us know so we can make different arrangements, or if you guys don't have any allergies, we can leave the arrangements as is, but please, you guys can text me on WhatsApp. Um, I don't have any allergies. Um, yeah, okay, do you have like, like me, no allergies. Everything, yeah, we'll take care of Oh, no allergies? Okay. <laughs> not even seafood allergy awesome that's good man <laughs> yeah i don't either but i know a lot of people do yeah i'm telling there was this there's a friend of mine he said he's allergic to seafood i was like really i can't imagine being allergic to salmon oh <laughs> i'm like what the <laughs> heck is this oh man <laughs> i'm just if, if i was i just have to pop then for the rest of the yeah. time <laughs> I'll take the risk of getting choked. <laughs> yeah, I'll um I'll text Shital in the the website because yeah, it looks like her Wi Fi is down again. All right. Um I'm okay. going to end this call right now and then I'll send you a different link. All right, Jonas? All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Peace. Have a good night, you guys. All right, have a great night.